Well, turning now to decision 2022, Katie Hobbs will become the fifth woman in the state to become governor. Arizona is the only state to have that distinction. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo is live right now in Midtown with reaction to the governor's race. And there's a, a possibly if there's any sign of concession in the future. Lupita, what can you tell us about this? Monica, I can tell you that we're at the corner of Grant and Oracle, where we came across this lone sign that says elect Katie Hobbs governor. She is the first Democratic governor to be elected since 2009. And she has an uphill battle because the state legislature is Republican run. We persevere in the face of challenges. And as your governor, I will do everything in my power to get the job done for you. The 52-year-old governor-elect is born and raised in Arizona. She was elected Secretary of State in 2019 and came under criticism for not recusing herself during the governor's race. She was also a state senator in 2015. Bonnie Heidler is the Democratic chair for Pima County. Not only will Arizona have a Democratic governor, but for the first time since 1950, Arizona has both U.S. Senate seats filled by Democrats. A huge win for our state and for the people of this state. Um, there's going to be so much that's going to be able to happen for the people that if the Republicans had gotten in charge, just would not be happening. We'd be having chaos. Republican Chair Shelley Kais disagrees. If two Republican senators and a governor and uh, a secretary of state had been elected, there would not have been chaos. We've seen it before in Arizona is one of the fastest growing states. Uh, and we are, uh, we have such an excellent economy that to even make a statement like that is unfounded. Coming up at five o'clock, what Pima County residents have to say about Governor-elect Katie Hobbs reporting live from Grant and Oracle, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.